Watts, who's African American and her white boyfriend, claim racial, a police racially profiled the two of them after they were seen kissing in public. Her boyfriend took this video that we're showing you right now of her in handcuffs. This morning, TMZ released new audio of the encounter. We're going to speak to the couple who are with us uh, in Los Angeles in a moment. But first, I want to let you listen to this audio from TMZ. Somebody called the police saying that there was lewd acts in the car. No lewd acts happening. We've Does it matter? I have we're, to ID you. We're not doing anything. Somebody called. I'm on the phone with my dad. This is my boyfriend. Okay, we're I want to see your ID. Somebody called, which means gives me the right to be here. So, so it gives me the right to identify you. Do you know how many by times law. I've been called? The cops have been called just for being that, black. That is just not, because we're black and he's that, white. That, I'm just being true. really honest. I don't. Who brought up a race card? Why? I'm bringing it up because I, I had. No, because I, I said have nothing every about right you to being be black. Here. And I have every and, right to ask your ID. And I have every right to say no. And if you'd like no, to, no, you do not have like every right to say no. You can take me down to the court office and I can make a scene about it. No. And you know what? I have a publicist and I'm working. I'm mildly interested. I'm mildly interested. You have a publicist, but I'm going to get your ID. Do you see what time it is? Fifteen minutes ago, I would have been gone. But because I didn't give you my ID, because you felt you that, that was enough for it me? It is enough, ma'am. It is enough. That's fine. You know what? This yeah. is not a problem for me. Okay. Because it's, I'm going to get all of your it's names. It's obviously a problem I, for you. No. What is a problem for me is that you think you're better than me, and you think you have uh, more power than me. I think I do, I do have more power than you. Do you feel differently watching it than experiencing it? Um... I feel like it's something that I'm very appreciative is being made aware, you know, to the people of this country. I, I feel humbled by the experience, and I know that there's a lot for us all to grow and learn from it. Well, that's actually a very good point. Let, why don't we break down uh, as best we can what <laughs> happened. We understand police said they received a call to 911 from somebody claiming that a man and woman were involved in a quote-unquote sexual act. You guys say you were just making out in the car like a couple does. The yeah. police show up. Take us from there. So um, the police show up. I'm outside of the car at this point talking to my dad on the phone. And um, he comes to speak to Brian and um, asks for my ID. He doesn't even talk to me. Asks Brian for my ID. And when I overhear that while I'm on the phone, I interrupt them and I say to Brian, I say, no, he will not be giving you my ID because I haven't done anything wrong and I know that I'm not required to do that. I'm talking to my dad, nothing personal, but I'm walking away. And so, when I walked away, yeah. So let me ask you, why not? Extrapolate on that a little bit more, Danielle, because I think some people might not understand why you, well, you wouldn't just easily give them my, his, your ID and let them carry on your, their way and you on yours. Well, it's because I believe in America and what it stands for, and I believe in freedom. And I think that a country that calls itself the land of the free and the mm. home of the brave, if I'm within my amendment rights, my constitutional rights to say no, unless you're charging me with a crime, I will not be giving you my ID. That is a right that I stand up for because of the shoulders that I stand on, because mm. of the people who fought so hard for the rights that came before me. Black, white, all people have been fighting for these rights for freedom. It's beyond race at this point. I know that we asked a couple of our legal analysts because we wanted to understand what the law is in California because many of us wonder, do police have the right to ask you for ID? In California, the police, if they have reasonable suspicion, they are yeah. permitted to detain an individual for a reasonable amount of time mm -hmm. in order to ascertain the person's identity. You also heard on the video there, the police officer even saying, look, if you just give me my, your ID, 15 minutes ago, I could have been gone. Do you, regret, yep. uh, do you regret just not handing him your ID now, or do you still feel strongly like, I didn't have to? I still feel strongly like I didn't have to. Um, I, I feel that it raises awareness. I'm thankful for the experience, not to say that I feel like I have to go through it again, but it's mm. causing a lot of discussion, and I feel like that's the purpose of the media, of, of artists, of actors and celebrities, to talk about things and raise awareness so that we can all decide what kind of society we want to live.